Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the three things that you're gonna to wanna to do as a seller before we close on the home. Hey guys, it's Jason Yeager with Greater Nixa Homes. Thanks for, again for uh, joining the YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to click that subscribe button and give us a like before we get started. I appreciate it. All right, so you know I work with a lot of uh, sellers and buyers here in the Southwest Missouri area, and I do get a lot of questions from my sellers, and that's the reason why we're making this video today, so that I can address maybe some common questions that you might have when you're getting ready to sell your home here in Southwest Missouri. Um, some things that are gonna be helpful for your new buyer coming in um, are probably gonna be gathering up all of the things that they're going to want to need. You have to put your head inside of a buyer and think like a buyer for a second, like your garage door openers, certainly all the keys, including um, your mailbox key. I know a lot of sellers um, forget to think about any mailbox keys, especially if you're in a condo owners association, you've got a big, huge, you know, community box. Um, that buyer's gonna wanna know exactly where that uh, box is located. Um, so maybe putting some simple directions for them on things that they're gonna need to know about your security systems, um, landscaping and irrigation, how those things turn on and off. Uh, surround sound systems that can be uh, very confusing for buyers so anything that's going to be helpful for them so that they have a smooth transition to that house and so they're not having to call your agent or you uh, directly um, to ask all these questions after close just leave it all in, the, in a counter nice and neat for them um, right before um, we head to closing all right, so the second thing you're gonna to wanna to do right before closing is make sure that you've completed all of the buyer's requests. And um, we're talking about repair requests because obviously you're gonna to wanna to get those things done before we close, so we're gonna have uh, big headaches <laughs> ahead. But um, certainly things that were included with the sale or excluded from the sale, really look through the contract, ask your real estate professional that's representing you um, just to double check and make sure that there's no miscommunication about what needs to stay and what needs to go, especially if you're having like a moving company come and help you. Um, these are gonna be key things. Basically things that also um, might be stored on the outside of the home, things that you've had there for a while. The buyer may have asked you know, to have those things um, removed from the property. A personal property that not attached to the home as a general rule of thumb um, just needs to make sure it's gone unless they've asked for it in the contract. All right, and so the last thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do before we sell that home uh, to the buyers is gonna be um, making sure that it's clean. And you know, most buyers are gonna maybe include some language in their contract that they want it to be broom swept, right? So what does that mean, broom swept? Well, it doesn't just mean going through with a broom and sweeping your floors when you're done. No, I mean, as a courtesy to a buyer, typically uh, in order to have a nice, happy uh, buyer that shows up at closing, you're gonna to wanna to make sure all your cupboards are, are wiped down, um, you know, make sure you vacuum all your floors, sweep and mop the floors. Um, you know, some people even want your, like your ovens and your refrigerators nice and, and cleaned out. Um, so you might wanna think about doing that too. And then I'd probably say the last and most biggest thing is all of the trash. You know, if you have miscellaneous trash, especially in the garage, on the outdoor, in the back deck, old pots and things, just get it all to the curb. And that might mean you might have to make a couple of trips, you know, to the dump, um, but just making sure that it's very well presentable and clean for your buyers, you're gonna have an awesome closing. All right, so that's about it. Uh, just in review, the top three things that you're gonna wanna do are probably gonna be gather up all those materials, important documents, instructions for your buyer. Two, you're gonna wanna complete all of the buyer's requests um, that they've asked for in the contract, make sure those are done. And then three, keep it clean. Uh, and you're gonna have an awesome closing. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I just wanna make sure that I'm, I'm getting out some good video uh, educational uh, content for you guys to help you win on the sales side, all right? Have a great day and thanks for watching you guys. I'm Jason Yeager with Greater Nixel Homes and I will see you in the next video.